Welcome to Installing R for Windows 10. I looked at YouTube the other day and realized that the last time I made a video about installing R it was about 10 years ago and uh, that included R Commander. On this video I'm just going to install R on Windows and uh, you can use any front end you like. You can use R Commander, you can use R Studio which has come along in the last 10 years. You can use Emacs or VI, the, the old editors. Uh, and I'll do some videos on those sorts of things as well later on. And so if we go to um, Windows 10, we can have a look at, uh, well, we can just search the web. So we can search the web for R and uh, it should come up with the, the R project should come up first of all. And so we'll go to we'll go to that uh, we'll go to that uh, website and and really we can we can download R we, but we need to go to the to CRAN. So it says choose please choose your preferred CRAN mirror. And Australia is up near the top uh, because uh, if you're a University of Queensland student or staff, uh, if you use any university in Australia to download it uh, or, or as the repository, then you can um, then you, then it won't go towards your quota. So here we're, I will use the University of Melbourne, but it doesn't really matter what you use if you've got unlimited quota. Uh, and we can just on the home page we can see download R for Windows. Now. If you're going to install R for the first time, which is what we're going to do, then you can click on that and it'll just say download it for Windows. So we'll download that, save the file. You can see how, that, how that's going. Um, there's a little bit of time left. I might just pause the video. And so we can see R is nearly downloaded. And we can either use, in Firefox, we can use that to open the, the containing folder, or we can use um, Explorer and just go to Downloads. And we can see that there's the, uh, the uh, installation file ready to go. So we can just right click on that file and we'll run it as administrator. And do we want to allow this app to make changes to the device? Yes, we do. And so we press yes on the, with the left button. And uh, then we just go through the standard setup and just leave everything as the default. So next, we don't read to, need to read the license or where, where it's going to get installed. We'll just install everything that it says and we'll just um, use the defaults for the startup. And, uh, and I might create a, a desktop short, uh, shortcut. I often don't do that, but I'd like to, to use one later on if I, if I install Arc Commander uh, and just modify it. So I'll create one of those and then it's fairly quick at installing if, you, if you've got a fairly modern computer. And it's just un unpacking all those files, and then um, we'll just install a install a package just to see how how to, how to use it. So we finish there. We see that it's got a, a couple of desktops. We want to use the 64-bit uh, one on on this machine, and so what I'll do is I'll right-click that and say Run as Administrator. And once again, we want to we want to allow to change things and. Let's install a package. So, so we go down to the packages, install packages menu. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, and I'll install it from the second one, the Melbourne University one, which is the second Melbourne uh, mirror there. And so we'll we'll say OK. You'll see if you're if you're somewhere else, then then you choose a different one. I will see that there's a lot of packages to choose from. Sometimes it's a bit hard to find it using this menu, 
Um, there's over 15,000 packages now. When I first started using R, there was only about 60 or something. So uh, it's, it's gained a lot of popularity over the years. And so I might install the, the car package, the ca companion to applied regression. It's hard to see here, so, so I'll just highlight that package and then I'll just press OK. And you'll see that it's going to install a whole lot of other packages there. Um, and there's quite a few of them. So once again, I might just uh, pause the recording and come back when, when they're all downloaded. And so all of those packages are downloaded and now they're just being unpacked. And so, that, so they'll take a little while to, to do that. And uh, once uh, once once this is done, then the then the package will be installed. So, if we run it through the menus, then then uh, R for Windows anyway knows that that we should install all the dependencies, and the dependencies are basically um, packages that that. Uh, that the, the package we're installing sort of requires so that it works properly. And we'll see that some of these packages do take a while to unpack and some of them, um, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, of course, once we've installed a few packages, then then uh, there'll be less of them. And we could actually find out about, about that library by typing in library help equal equals car C A R and hitting the return and that'll bring up um, bring up the help for that file and we'll see that that really it's the, it's about the companion to applied regression by John Fox and and uh, and there's a um, Sandy Weisberg's the other author of the package and and there's some really good things in there if you're doing regression but there's as I said there's 15,000 packages to choose from uh, and so I hope that Hope that that's been useful. Uh, when we when we exit out of R, then we'll say um, close. No, ah, yes, and we'll say file exit. So so I had the wrong menu there, I think. So f oh, that was for the for the help. File exit, and then um, we don't want to save the workspace image. There's there's no point in doing that, and that's often the case. And so we'll see here that that we've uh, that we've got R installed, but really um, we don't use we don't use it directly. We'll either use um, a menu system like R Commander, or we'll use uh, an editor like R Studio. You can even use uh, Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio, or Emacs or VI, Atom, or all these all these programmers editors. Uh, but if you if you're not uh, familiar with with these editors, then I'd suggest that you use R Studio, because it's really designed uh, designed to um, to uh, to really work well with R. Much probably much better than than anything else. Although um, some people have their favourite editor. And so I hope that's uh, that's of use to you, and and that you. Um, that you look at the the next video on how to install um, the the interface that you want to use, but.